Greetings and salutations to everyone watching this video. For those who don't know, my name is Darson Central and I feel that I need to inform everyone who isn't aware of the situation in on the situation. So here's basically what's going on. For those who are not aware, I have been sick, air quotes, for the past few weeks. So here's basically how this all started. Back in November of 2018, I had to switch doctors from Dr. Kaufman, who was my primary care physician for children's, to Dr. Cooney, who is of Methodist physicians. As is customary for those who are first-time patients, they need to have their blood drawn. So basically, here's what happened. In the time that I was having my blood drawn and the time that I got the results back, I was thinking that everything was fine. So I got the results back and here's what happened. They told me that my kidney function was low and they were thinking that it was just a fluke. A couple of days later, I had an ultrasound taken care of and it wasn't good news. I found out that I only had one kidney and it was underdeveloped. My other kidney was either A, non-existent, or B, it was dead. So that was a lot for me to take in at the time. What's happening now is, um, well, let me fill you in on what's going to be going currently. So back in June of this year, so last month, for those who are not aware, I was originally coming down with symptoms of potential COVID-19. I was vomiting, I had a high fever, I had diarrhea and then constipation and all the like, and everybody thought that I had COVID-19 for that reason. So on June 30th, I went to go ahead and get my COVID-19 test because I was feeling miserable. I was sleeping most of the time, and I just didn't want to, you know, have to put up with it for much longer. So I had to go into a 14-day quarantine, and I was not allowed to go back to work until I got better. Still currently, I am not going to work, so... Let me explain. The test results for the COVID-19 test, of course, came back negative, but I had scheduled an appointment with Dr. Cooney uh, back on, I believe, July 14th or somewhere around that range or July 10th, I think. It, it, my brain has been a bit cloudy, so if I'm getting things wrong, I do apologize. So... I got back and they said that I needed to go back home because I was feel I was just not looking right at all. And they said for me to go ahead and get retested. Now, I personally live in the eastern part of Nebraska. And even my supervisor was telling me to get retested again for COVID-19 because there were people at our work who was originally um, showing the results as negative, and then once they got retested, the results came back positive, so I had to go ahead and get retested. So, um, the results came back negative once again, but I decided to go ahead and get a blood draw from Dr. Cooney's nurse because I had a feeling that something wasn't right because I would gradually get better and then on the fifth or seventh day, I would go back to being worse. And this is basically what has been happening currently right now. I am feeling somewhat okay, but I'm sure that's going to change in the near future. So basically what's happening now is that I really don't want to have to reveal this, but everybody needs to know. My kidney function at this current time is highly elevated. Now, to some, that may sound like that's good, but it's not. Basically, what elevated kidney function means is that 
it's at a percentage to where it's having a hard time functioning. So a normal kidney function for a human being is around 65%, and that's normally if you have two kidneys. So I was confirmed also um, that something wasn't right. I had to go to a Methodist Hospital and get a CT scan, and um, it was confirmed that I was only born with one kidney and that my kidney function is not doing so great. So here's what's going to go down in the next few days. On July 30th, I have an appointment scheduled with Dr. Bauer, my nephrologist, at 145. So we're basically going to be having a conference call with Dr. Cooney and Dr. Bauer in regards to how my kidney function is. So here's four scenarios that could happen if this needs to happen. The first scenario is that I might just need to have some sort of antibiotic or something like that because I have been showing signs of bloating. I have gained weight over then, which is why I'm not showing my face because I don't think you want to see how I look right now. It's not great. So that's scenario one, that we could potentially try and get the bloating down and hopefully that'll help. The second scenario is that I could potentially be put on dialysis treatment. Um, so it's possible that that might have to be the case. The third scenario is that I could potentially have to be hospitalized if I get worse. And what I mean by get worse, and this might be too much information for people, but if I am having problems going number one or number two, so to speak, I am going to have to be hospitalized for that reason. The fourth and final scenario, should this be a necessity for me to live, I am going to need to have a kidney transplant. So that is basically what is happening currently. I don't know whether or not that either of these scenarios are going to happen or not. But I will keep you guys posted because this is a very scary situation. And I'm going to be honest with all of you. I don't know if I'm going to live through this or not. I really don't. And I personally am scared. I don't know what's going to happen in the near future. My mom is scared. My uncle is scared. Everybody that I know it is scared for my safety and my health. And, and they have a good reason to because I have no idea how this is happening. And I am actually the youngest in my family to be showing signs of kidney failure at my age. I just, I, I, I don't know. I'm scared. I just, I don't know what else to really say other than I hope that I don't die. I just, I, I, I hope that I don't. I want to live. I want to be able to keep my voice out there, let it be heard, so to speak. And I just, I, I don't know what else to say other than you guys out there who have been supporting my channel for the past two to three years. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for being there and I suppose letting me be a voice of inspiration and to be able to voice everything that I've done in comic dubs like the Three Little Princesses, Super Mario Prankster Brothers, to be able to do builds on Minecraft. While you haven't seen a whole bunch, I really wish to get my work out there provided that I get better. But for the time being, since I am not doing well health-wise, I will be staying home. For the time being, I won't be going to work until Dr. Bauer and Dr. Kumi give the okay. So it's it's going to be touch and go for the next few weeks. I don't know what's going to be happening, but I, I'm just going to say I pray and I hope that I will come out of this fine. 
that nothing too serious will have to be done. But should it happen, I will let you guys know. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Starson Central saying thank you for your support and the time that I've been on YouTube. Keep shining bright and stay hopeful. Take care.